Library is, is of vital importance to Suffolk's mental health system because it builds community capacity at grassroots level. It allows people to come in and get support in the local community for their mental health needs to stop them going into secondary services. The more organisations like libraries and culture and art organisations can do to engage people, the more capacity we have to support people. We have a very, very strong and very collaborative relationship with Suffolk County Council. Um, and as an independent body, we're able to do some of the things that they can't do as, as a statutory body. Um, in a wider context, um, we've saved them 30% over the first 10 years of our life in terms of what they pay for libraries, but we've actually expanded our services. We run dozens more services. Um, we have longer opening hours, um, and we still have the same wonderful professional staff running all of our sites. People can go into a place they're familiar with, talk to people that they know, um, be supported by their family members in their local community. This kind of softer face of support really helps people to open up about their mental health needs and to share those stories with other people. Most of what we do supports wellbeing in the community and we work with them in all sorts of different ways across the um, teams they have within the County Council to meet specific needs in the community. The library is so much more than a place with books. It is a community hub with books in it. It's not is so much, it is a heartbeat. It's actually looking at the person for who they are and what needs they have. Some of the research we've done um, around the needs in the community um, really clearly signpost the fact that we are saving money across the health system. We've generated two million pounds in social value, so there's an absolute wealth of return on investment going on here. Um, and recently we commissioned some research to look at the well-being and clinical value of um, some of the many regular activities that we provide and the outcome of that research was that we were really helping support people's well-being in the community and also that we were particularly enhancing that sense of community but also providing a certain connectedness um, that isn't available anywhere else. We run groups to try and encourage young parents or carers to mix with each other and um, have a social experience as well as the children interacting with sensory play that, that we set up. Um, older folks, we run groups for such as uh, Top Time, 55 Alive. We named ourselves 55 Alive. And it's just nice to see people, have a chat, you know, um, catch up with things. And it's nice to know that the libraries are here for that sort of thing. And it's good also for people's mental health, isn't it? And a lot of those people who perhaps weren't doing anything, they've sort of come along to the library through 55 Alive and they're now, they'll come in, they might be in three or four times a week. That's what we are, we are a community hub for inclusivity. It helps people because then they don't necessarily have to seek medical help. So yes, because we help one another. I live on my own and it's nice to come here because you can talk to somebody about anything. You know, that make company. You know. I think just the fact that it is so popular it just shows how much of a need need there is. It's nice to talk about it amongst us, and uh, it's helped helped a lot. I think we do provide a preventative service here in in terms of averting people's health becoming to the point where they do need statutory services. And I think if we can be a part of maintaining somebody's good well-being because we've been able to have a conversation with them and we've listened to them and they felt valued then that is such a vital part of this library service. Mm -hmm.